Hello everyone and welcome to my talk on building your CV with Docker and GitHub Actions. My name is Muhammad Ali. I'm a software engineer at Yodel and also a Docker community leader, which means that I organize meetups and talk about Docker here and there. I am also a frequent blogger and you can access my blog through Medium with the links that I have presented here. The outline of today's talk is going to be like this. We're going to talk about why do we want to do this first and why do we want to put our CV on GitHub and build it with actions. Some explanation on how the whole thing works together. We're going to have a live demo of how things are working and also some discussion at the end. So there are a few reasons that I personally did that. First of all is availability. So every time someone asks me, can you give me an updated version of your CV? So I usually give people a link to my GitHub repo and then they can always download the latest version of my CV and also they can go through all the comments, maybe see the change log, see if I have a new position, when did I update my CV, things like that. The other thing is format. So basically LaTeX is my preferred format for, for a CV. Uh, there are multiple reasons for that. First, there are tons of beautiful uh, templates for creating your CV in LaTeX. LaTeX is modular, so you can predefine parts of your CV and reuse them all over the place. So don't repeat yourself, the pattern is there. And also it's portable. So if you build it here, if you build it on a Linux machine, if you build it on a Windows machine, it doesn't matter. Always the output is the same and it's platform independent. The last uh, reason that I do this is versioning. So I want to have a versioning on my CV. So if I make an update, I always want to be able to revert it if I don't like it, or I always want to have a change log, have some uh, logs on why did I change this? Or if I want to go back in time, like two years ago, how did my CV look like back then? I can do these things with this way of storing my CV. Also, LaTeX is a format that allows you to do that. If you, for example, store your CV in, in a Word format in a DocX and you store it on GitHub, then the divs are not readable, the document is not readable, and you cannot open it with VIM or any other uh, custom uh, text editor. You, you have to open it with some certain uh, binaries basically, Word or uh, Writer or, or Google Docs or something like that. And then you always have this problem that the format is not compatible between different applications. And this is another reason that I use this format and this method of storing my CV. Going forward. So this is how everything works. Overleaf is an online tool that I use to write my CV, all my LaTeX documents, basically. There is an integration to GitHub, so you can basically connect a project of yours in Overleaf to a repository on GitHub. And this is what I did for my CV. And then every time I make a change, I commit it on Overleaf and push it to GitHub. When I push to GitHub, a GitHub action is there and then it picks it up, it builds it and exports it as an artifact. And then this artifact is there and one can download everything. So let's take a look at it live and see how it works.
basically this is irrelevant this is my overleaf project and this is the github repository that is connected to it so this is you can look it up basically this is my id here and the repository is called hectoberfest cv so if you scroll down here it says download pdf if you click on it a pdf is being downloaded so the pdf is auto generated we will look into the code in a bit last release is in barge and then there are zero commits before the tag was there so let's update and then we can see how it works this cv is a bit outdated so i don't work there anymore i work at yodo currently so let's update it double clicking on the thing and then it says present but it should be july apostrophe 22 and if i recompile it we can see that this is updated here we can now use the github push and then update so i create a commit message i create a commit and i push it if i go back here you can see that there is a new commit here there is one commit since the last build and then i can create a release basically so if i want to do that i can click on releases and then this version is 2.2.1 it should usually generate release notes which it doesn't currently for some reason and yes let's publish the release to the tag okay i have to create the tag first Is it possible to create a tag through? Yes, I can create a tag directly from here. And then the release title is also the same. And now I can generate Yes, the full change log is here and then publish release. This is version 2.2.1. The change log is here and then there's just one change in the date. And then if I go to actions, I can see that there is an action on the tag. Yes, still the latest version is not updated. It's building the CV. It takes some time. Okay. 
Okay, the last time it took... Almost two minutes to finish. Let's go back and see if it's... In the meantime, we can also look into the file that is creating this field. So this is basically the whole file. There are a few steps to it. And then the last step creates a file that is called main.pdf. And in this step, also the LaTeX action is building the tech file, and then I use ZTEX, ZLaTeX. That's why I, I pass this flag. If you use another engine, you can pass another flag. And then at the end, this file is released, creating this other action, and then if you go back, this is now finished. If you go back to the main page, zero commits behind, and then you can see it here. This tag is not updated. It's, it should show 2.2.1, but it should work already. So if I open it, it's updated version and it has July instead of present. That was it mostly. If you want to look into the file and do the same for your own CV, you can use this repo as a reference. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me on Twitter I also tweet about my talks, my new blog posts, or you can write me an email with onto this email address. Thanks a lot for your attention and have a nice day.